this shit, Teak. Every week is a new bitch on your phone. You think I'm stupid? You think I want to keep going through this, Teak? I fucking love you and you keep shitting on me. What's wrong with you, nigga? You fucking... I can't stand you stupid ass right now. I really can't stand you right now. Told you, man. She's my homegirl, man. Like, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself, yo. I'm not. So why the fuck is she texting you that late? Like, she was just saying hello, man. She just got back into town, man. Yeah, look, man. Fuck, man. What are you doing, man? What you think? I'm calling her. Give me the phone. Hello? No. Give me the fucking phone. No. What the hell's the phone, going on? Man? Yo, get the fuck out the way, man. Get the fuck out the car. No, I'm not Get getting out. out the car, I'm man. not going nowhere, right, Teak. No you bugging the fuck out. I'm not going nowhere. Get off. What's man. wrong with you? The shit, fuck is wrong with you, Teak? You fuck ass nigga. Get the fuck out of here. I'm tired of your shit, man. The fuck is stupid ass nigga. Fuck you, man. You think I'm stupid, Teak?
Mel, you sleep? Yeah, kinda. Uh, what's up? Yo, you know this nigga Teak pulled me out his car and left me? Uh, really? When? About five minutes ago. I had to walk home. Ah, oh, that idiot. I gotta have a talk with this punk. It's like two in the morning. This dude made you walk? I thought some man was following me. You know my paranoia. Yeah. Still taking them pills for that PDD. <laughs> it's PPD, silly. Uh, it's late. Uh, what's that shit mean, man? Yeah? Paranoid personality disorder. Alright. Well, you still taking them pills? Nah, not really. What you mean, not really? Cuz, Mel, I don't like taking drugs. You know that. What was that for? Why'd Teak pull you out of his car? Cause I called some chick on his phone. Oh, while he was driving? Yeah, so. Well, is he messing with that? I don't know. He said it's his homegirl. Well, maybe it is. Listen, you're not taking your meds. You think Teak is creeping. He's flipping out in his car. Now you think somebody's following you. Come on, sis. Take your pills. Mel, I don't like taking drugs. You know that. Plus, why Teak bug out on me like that? You know that's that guilt. Listen, it's way too late to talk about this stuff, right? I'm going back to sleep, all right? I'll talk to you tomorrow. You good, though? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. All right. Oh, wait, Mel. All right. Don't forget about my get-together at my house tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your homegirl Tammy coming tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, nigga. She want to see you. <laughs> all right. That's what's up. All right. I'll holler at you then. Talk to you later. Bye. Still taking them pills? Nah, not really. What do you mean, not really? Cuz, Mel, I don't like taking drugs, you know that.
ridiculous you know mm -hmm. and you know what I still can't fathom that sick pulls you out of your car last night I mean you could have at least drove you back home I know right but that's all right my brother's gonna talk to him about that <laughs> my brother talks with his fists hey. so how is your brother doing he doing good he know you coming to my house tonight really Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Does he know why we're getting together? No, nah, not really. Melody, you know you really should inform him ahead of time. We don't want to scare him. My brother ain't scared of nothing. That's where we differ. I don't know why I'm so paranoid and he's relaxed. It must be a man thing. I mean, well... I will rid you of your paranoia tonight. See, back in my country, we look at paranoia as the dead trying to possess your mind. Without spiritual cleansing, a lot of people end up in asylums or dead. Oh, snap. I completely forgot to tell you. Yo, I think some nigga was following me last night when T pulled me out of his car. What? Did you call the police? No, because I ain't even see his face. I think the heavens that you're okay, huh? Yeah, it was weird though, how he was just standing there. What do you mean? Well, when I walked past him, I didn't even turn back to look and see if he was still following me until I was like 30 feet away. I looked back, he just standing there. I looked back again, he walking down the street real fast. Girl, you know I took off running across the street. Then he crossed the street. I made it to the next corner. I looked back, he coming down the street mad fast. I finally made it home. After that, I look back again, I ain't even see him no more. I lost him. Well, I can look at this two ways. Being that this is America, there are a lot of weird predators roaming the streets. Or two. Maybe he's seen your aura or smelled the aroma. But a human cannot do either one. So I'm going to be safe and assume that it was a random man, but you know, just to be safe. Just in case, it is a must have. Very paranoia. See, Tammy, you be cracking me up. That's why I be consulting to you. Melvin wanted me to take these drugs that the doctor prescribed, but I did take one of them herbals that you gave me, girls. I still <laughs> feel it. <laughs> oh, you will. It calms you. It relaxes the nervous system in the body. Mm -hmm. And it's great on anxiety. I mean, after taking that other crap, I'm surprised you didn't take all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right?
Okay, now let me bless this room so that we can immediately start before your brother and Ava arrives. But you know, Melody, we, we can do this small ritual now. We don't have to do it with other people. Well, if whatever you're gonna do is gonna cure my anxiety and paranoia, at least I got witnesses. Box. <laughs> The thing is, Tammy, I just want this so badly to work so I can show my brother and my doctor that natural remedies have been and will always be what works best on our minds and our bodies. But unfortunately, there's only a few West Indian markets in Albany that have the alkaline water and the herbs that I need for this concoction. Mm. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let's be done. What the hell? It's Teak. Melody, did you invite him? No, not at all. Should I see what he wants? I would, but keep in mind that your brother is soon to arrive. Door open again? Girl, you scared me! Sorry? But yeah, it was open. It opened up when you when you open the front door because your window is open. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's up, Tambiga? Good evening, T. What brings you out? Well, came here to apologize to Melanie about last night. Oh, okay, that's nice. Well, all right then. I'm gonna let y'all get back to y'all thing. All right, Melody. Maybe I'll give you a call later on tonight? Maybe. Give me a call. All right then. The radio play the same shit over and over, man. Hello? What's up, Teak? Oh, what's good, April? Nothing. I didn't feel like texting back. Yeah, I meant to call you last night to explain, but I didn't. I apologize. I ain't think Melody would call your phone. <laughs> well, she called my work phone, so at least she didn't catch my voice. Yeah, that's because I had to wrestle to get my phone from her. I almost hit this weird looking dude trying to get my phone, man. Really? Yeah. So I jumped out, ran to her side. Pull her ass out. You know what I'm saying? But I felt bad about it, so I just left a quick apologize. Yeah, I know. I just saw you pull off when I was pulling up. Wait, what? You at Melody House? Relax, Teague. I'm just here for a little ritual get together that she's doing tonight. I ain't gonna let her know we're fucking. Ritual? What ritual? Well, you know Tammy's some type of spiritual and physical healer, right? Yeah, but. That was back in high school. Melody still believe in that crap? <laughs> Damn, T, where you been? Melody said you don't be listening to her when she's talking to you. So, she be talking to you about me? Mm -hmm. time. Listen, bro. She's about to come to the door, so I'm gonna call you later. Give me the fucking no! phone. No! Give me the phone, man. Yo, get the fuck out the way, man.
Het is vol, hè? under control. Is Melanie supposed to eat this, drink this, what? Some she eats, some she drinks.
They smell unusual. I guess that's why I have all the incense burning. The aromas you smell are an evil spirit repellent. When Melody eats and drinks, we'll see through her pores to hide her aura. It'll also relax the mind of restlessness, confusion, anxiety, tension, things like that. I made an herbal pill a week ago for her to take so that her body can go through a calming shock to the system and cold the stomach. But Melody just decided that she wanted to take it yesterday, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that, that means what? <laughs> Melody, you may answer that. It means I'm gonna have the runs. <laughs> what? It means I'm gonna have diarrhea, okay? I gotta stay home all day tomorrow just to make sure my stomach is cleared and detoxified. So Tammy, keep it real. This is like some type of voodoo or black magic, right? This is a combination of what this well is. Hold up, wait, that must be mine. Yep, it's mine. So what's going on there, sis? How y'all doing tonight? What's up, bro? What's up, what's up? Hey, what's up, Tammy? What hey, is up, Tammy? All right. What's up there, troublemaker? <laughs> what up, Melly Mel? What's going on? Just chilling. Y'all getting started yet? We was about to. Mm. But wait, let me tell you, finish where you started off at. Eva's question, Melvin, was if I'm practicing voodoo or black magic. Okay. And I'm telling you this because your sister never did. <laughs> it's all good. I mean, we, she talked to me about stuff here and there, about, you know, prescribed medicine, herbal medicine. You know me, though. I'm all about Western traditions here in America. Okay, lovebirds. To answer your question, Eva, this is a combination of both, as well as others. To be specific, there really is no name to the practice. It's just something my ancestors been practicing for since the beginning of time. I've been called a witch doctor plenty of times, which I guess you can say that I am, because a witch doctor is nothing but a healer through herbs and prayers. Wait, you've done this before? Yes, many times. Your parents too? Yes, the both of them. But my mother tampered with witchcraft to see if it worked. You never told me that, Sammy. I never told anyone. <laughs> so what'd she do? She put a curse on somebody? Should we kill anybody? My brother Aki. Hold on, man. You know I know your mother. You do know I'm a police officer, right? Sure you want to continue the story? This happened before I was born. It happened in Tanzania on a small ship heading towards New York Shores. And how old was Akin? He was 14. So, what happened? My mother and many other women in my village were raped by five Kenyan militia men. They came in the night. They took our fathers and they tied their hands to their feet. My father was a victim as well. My brother Akin witnessed this atrocity while he was hiding. While my mother was being raped, she seen Akin looking right at her as my father just screamed and begged for them to stop. Tammy. You don't have to continue. I'm sorry, we didn't know. Oh, I must. I must. Because this, this is proof to me that natural healing is real and that witchcraft is just as real. A few hours later on the ship, the Kenyan militia men were going back to their boat. My mother had a potion on her that she had been working on to relieve pain. It was mixed with venom of a cobra, poisonous milk of a cistern plant, powdered bark of a quiver tree, and water of the Nile River. It can be a deadly or beneficial portion, depending on the mood of the person that chants over it as the other person drinks it. My mother was not thinking clearly. She told Akin to drink it and kill the men. 
She chanted over and over with rage in her heart. Kumpangovo Zamyon Maji. Kumpangovo Zamyon Maji. Which means, give him the power of a bloodsucker. No. This story is freaking me out. Why a bloodsucker? Wait, what is a bloodsucker? A vampire. My mother was not thinking clearly. The gods of the spiritual world, they gave her exactly, they gave her exactly what her true heart asked for. What was that? A monster. Killing monsters. So how did she kill your brother? By that same drone. The potion turned out to be a curse from the gods. The potion took immediate effect on Akim. He went after all five of the men, going after their faces, necks, arms, biting them wherever. They tried stabbing him, kicking him. He was unstoppable. Nothing faced him. Akim ripped the limbs off their bodies. My mother looked upon her son and felt so bad for what she had done to him. Akin looked at my mother and he jumped off the ship to try and get back onto the boat, but everyone was immediately petrified of my brother and they untied the boat from the ship. My brother tried to jump back, but he missed. He screamed for my mother while drowning. And my mother just screamed for Akin and watched him drown. Damn, you sure you want to go through this after hearing all of that, Mel? Word. So that's how your parents ended up in New York? Yes. They didn't know the climate of Brooklyn, so they came out here to Albany. So, what's it going to be, Mel? Let's do this. How do you feel, Melody? I feel different. Can't really explain the feeling because I'm unsure what it is, but I feel it. Listen, I'm still not convinced. Although the most interesting thing about tonight was your story, which still sounds like, you know, folklore, allegories, myths. I'm a police officer, and it's my duty to remain calm and clear headed at all times. My sister has to take the medication prescribed to her, not yet concoct the pills. I don't mean no disrespect, but you think your pills and herbs are gonna heal my sister's lifelong problems with paranoia, huh? The herbs, the incense, you gonna know, sacrifice the animal too? The gods are pleased when we use their herbs for healing. The gods are not open to animal sacrifices. Any person that sacrifices an animal to save themselves will be cursed with animal attributes. And plus, humans don't realize that incense is a way to connect with the spiritual world. Humans burn incense to smell, but belief, belief is for those who are willing to believe. All right, listen, I gotta go, all right? Tammy, you're beautiful and everything, but your math is disturbing for me. I, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I got to look out for my sister. Oh, 
Good night, girls. No, I want to the door. <laughs> Look, sis, you know I love you. I know you're a grown woman and everything. Just concerned about you, you know? You know you and mom suffer from the same condition. Doctor's saying it's something they can't explain. Whatever the case is, it's gotta be hereditary. You know? Now this shit with UNT got me all stressed out. You know? Now somebody's following you. Come on now, my job is stressful enough. Are you been listening to me? What the hell are you looking at? This guy. What? Yo, T! Come here, man. Let me talk to you. Don't try to pull off, coward. Hold up. Where you going? You see that? You see that shit? You not fuck with that dude no more. See how you look at taking when we together. Why do you think I invited you over? Yo, what what did you give this bitch? I gave her the gift that the gods blessed her with. You see, Eva. Melody was blessed with a woman's intuition so strong that it felt like paranoia. It was never paranoia to begin with. And now that she's relaxed, all of her supposedly paranoid thoughts revealed that she was correct the entire time. It had to be implanted, developed in her womb, and birthed. That was my gift to her. <laughs> Y'all bitches is crazy. Fuck both y'all. And Melody, you lucky I don't beat your ass because your brother's a cop. And Tammy, you just weird. Always have been, always will be. Oh, and Tammy, you ain't a bitch. You a witch. Yo, my man, you seen Teak? Nah, man, I ain't seen Teak all night. You see him, you let me know. Uh, hello? Hello? Who's this, Tammy? Yes, Melvin. Where's my sister? She's right here. She's asleep on the She's phone. fully asleep? Yes, Melvin. Oh, you seen Teak? He came over there? All right, well, I'm out here looking for him. Okay. Are you staying the night? Yes, Melvin. All right. Good night, Tammy. Good night, Tammy.
crazy bitch. I should have been like, yeah, I'm fucking you, man. And what, bitch? Yo, Tink! Turn them shits off, asshole! Crazy ass dream. Teak and Ava, they was on the couch dead, and they started biting at my dimmer. Oh, oh, hey, Mel, 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 relax. Clearly, you were just having a bad dream. Well, that shit felt real. I mean, I know, but I said a lot of things tonight. Clearly, your mind just translated that into some type of dream. What about Teak and Ava? Well. You did tell Ava that you knew she was messing around with Teak. I did? Yes. And plus, you seen that weird behavior that Teak displayed when Melvin tried to speak to him earlier. You know what? I'm calling my brother. What's wrong? Hey, Mel. What's up? What you doing? Oh, um, no, nah, I was just calling to check on you. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Everything okay? Yeah, Mel said he was coming back over. Oh, okay. Man, that dream was crazy scary. What was that? That was probably a game. Tammy, don't play with me like that. I'm not playing, Melody.
Melody, he's not going to hurt you. I have him here to protect you. You have the power to see things in others that many people cannot. But your influences of Western civilization blocks your gifts from the gods. And people from your past, they are against you. So now it is time to eliminate those who believe in lies and those who hide behind lies. Melvin was right. <laughs> it's all folklore, allegories and myths. Oh, but the witchcraft, the witchcraft is very real. Akin is my tumwa, my slave. He's my nyonwaji, my vampire. And now you are too. <laughs> Transformation is beginning, buddy. Get Mal. Mal! Mal! Tammy, come here! Mal! Hello, 911? Yes, this is Officer Melvin Reed. Mal! 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 Mal. Panda. Panda melody. I'm sorry you didn't believe. I'm sure you do now though. Oh, you want this?
Oh, oh, oh.